Hello, welcome back guys. Um, today I'm going to be making a quick video. This is the part three on MMB provided by Joy Auto. So basically what this box does is it makes your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wireless if your car doesn't have it. Um, so if you want to click on above, you can see the opening box video, unboxing video review and the video on Volkswagen Atlas. This is in 2019. Volkswagen Jetta GLI does not have wireless Apple CarPlay. It does have a wired Apple CarPlay. As you can see, the wire has been removed. So what I'm gonna do is unbox this. This is a box. It's about 300 bucks on Amazon. Um, so box comes like this. I have opened it before. Um, so you're gonna use either the USB-A cable or you can use USB-C cable. Also comes with that. Um, you're gonna open it up. It's pretty straightforward. Plug it in, the USB-C only goes in here. You plug it in here and it plugs in your USB cable. If your car has it in the front, plug it in the front. If your car has it in the arm console, uh, center console, put it in there, depending on wherever you connect for your Apple CarPlay. As soon as you connect, um, you should see the boot up. Uh, the boot up will start up here. So here, it's loading up the Venus menu for MMB. Again, you saw this earlier as well. I truly like their uh, load up screen. The resolution is not, um, it's pretty good as well. Takes about a good 30 seconds or so to load up. Um, and then whenever it loads up by default, it... so once you boot it back up, uh, obviously Venus is not connected in here. So click accept. Um, and then we're gonna hit more or less CarPlay. Um, it's gonna to try to connect to this device. So allow, iPhone is connecting, it's loading, use CarPlay. There he goes. It's just loading up. It took about, I would say, good 20, 25 seconds to load up, but this is your basic menu. Uh, you can flip through different screens, go to your music, go to Apple Maps, Google Maps, depending on what's available on the CarPlay menu. Um, and then you can obviously always exit. And then the nice thing is you can also do, uh, you can exit from here, it takes you back to this screen. And if you wanted to play, for example, YouTube, you can connect. Um, so what you can do is, and here, you can do connect, connect, connect. Where is update your app? Nope, I want to update it. Settings, Wi Fi, Wi Fi, turn it on. So basically you can either have CarPlay or you can have Wi-Fi running for the box. So we're gonna use the hotspot. So Wi-Fi is connected. Uh, I had to update uh, YouTube and Netflix um, along with, uh, what do you call a Google account because this is the Android box. Funny of all, I believe they have used uh, Pixel 4 hardware in here because whenever you connect, it says Pixel 4 in there. But anyways, so you can pick and choose what you want to do. Again, I'm going to put a caution out there. Please do not watch videos while driving. Please, please do not watch videos while driving. So load up Netflix if you want to. It's signed in right now. Um, and pretty much you can watch anything you want. So... You can hit play. It's using the hotspot off of the mobile device at the moment. So it might be a little choppy, but once it loads up, it will start playing and you can see it play. Oh my God. This is so. Quality wise, the screen quality is pretty good. It's using the box um, and it's relaying the information to the factory uh, screen on the device, it's using the factory um, sound system as well. There's nothing aftermarket other than the box, MMB box that was installed. And then you can do the same thing, 
hit the back button. Also, I'm not using this because I did not set up all the way, but you can use the AirPlay uh, mouse and key um, as well to connect, use this. And you can do the same thing with the YouTube. You can go to YouTube and then you can search for whatever you want to search for. And you can bring that up. Obviously, it's playing something. Uh, here, so let's just play this really fast. So right now, it's playing music off of YouTube. As you can see, I can go to next. And it goes into the... And now it's playing music, video, and you can keep on going and so forth. If you have any questions, uh, put them in a comment down below. Um, I'll link the device where you can buy it. Again, the, it's about $290 to get it. Um, and then the shipping cost. And I'll link the coupon code on the bottom of the video as well for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know.